tried a few new things and you might think it's absolutely nuts but um, I'm going to run a Panda basically the Teensy and the BNO will be the only thing in the box doing anything and then it'll be receiving a GPS signal over UDP because uh, UDP is super fast communications and it's even faster than having it right on the board talking serial. So I don't see any reason why this shouldn't work. I've got a, a box and in here there is a um, F9P but I have it uh, disabled. Here's the antenna for the F9P. It's not hooked up. It's not powered up. It's just in the box because it's in the box and I'm still doing testing back and forth. So I left it in there but you have the teensy in the middle and then um, you have the uh, BNO up in here and then it goes to the UDP. It doesn't look it but that is a Trimble. That is a Trimble BD970. That was my trusty base station for a long time and uh, it got punted for an MLID because MLID's pretty sweet. And if we take a look over here, yeah, RTK fix on a Trimble. Normally people use like the big survey antenna for Trimbles and we're gonna just use this uh, helical. Trying lots of new stuff today. The nice thing about having uh, UDP is uh, whatever GPS I shove in here and it sends GGA, it'll work for the, the Panda. So at any rate, if I unplug this, now I don't have any GGA. Now you can see that we just got kind of a slow blink. It's not putting out any Panda. If we take a look at here, it is frozen. So uh, yeah, see this is the thing about Panda like, We've definitely lost fix. We lost the complete signal and it's still showing RTK fix. So there's something something there that uh, has got to be looked into. But anyway, we'll plug it back in. So we'll just grab the uh, cable. Of course, we grabbed the wrong one. I was asked by a relative watching one of my videos, well, why don't you edit out, edit out the mistakes? And I th said to them, the reason why I don't edit out the mistakes is because like grabbing a wrong cable or something doesn't work quite right is that's real life and you know it's not all easy it's not like i just throw this stuff together and boom it works i've been maintaining a fix uh it's been steering pretty good and uh it seems to be pretty awesome actually so the bd970 is uh yeah it's a few more bucks than the uh, f9p but it gives me very F9P results. Except when I first started driving it, I was, you know, doing that big wave. And uh, at any rate, I had to change this. It was set to static. So of course that won't work. Uh, and then I looked down here and they had farm equipment as a, uh, a choice. So of course I picked that because, you know, I got 38 horsepower tractor. I'm definitely a farm equipment. And uh, then I hit, okay, I'm not sure if it like, forgets this on power down or something i guess i'll see but at any rate i picked the farm equipment if we go back to where the hell is it position well oh, general position so yeah i am a farm equipment so that's what we're using but if we go to io configuration you can see not only am i sending the gga out so like this line here I'm just broadcasting to everything on the network uh, j just as obnoxious as possible and I'm sending a GGA 10 Hertz and uh, this um, uh, receiver the uh, BD9 or yeah it's 970 uh, at any rate it's uh, good up to 50 Hertz so that is a test for another day but I'm also getting the RTCM3 over UDP on port 2233 so this is very successful. So it is time to go cut grass. The uh, Trimble on AOG works. Uh, you know, don't really gotta go run out and buy one, but hey, if you got one laying around that you're using as a, um, a base station, I guess you're in luck. You wonder, why would you wanna use GPS to cut your grass? Well, I think it's pretty obvious. It looks pretty sick. And then also too, just cutting grass it saves me about an hour of time and then it also saves the fuel and the wear and tear on the machine and the results are good so hey 
it's uh, it's definitely a fun way to make the monotonous grass cutting look really good and take less time. It's hot.
thought I'd update gear to condition. So last year I printed these out on the 3D printer and uh, yeah, they, uh, they haven't really worn at all. And uh, maybe they polished up a little bit smoother and that's about it. And then this gear here, it is a different color than last time. I, I did change it mostly just for looks, but wear-wise, the other one, yeah, it, it, it didn't wear much at all. But uh, I wanted a black gear. And yeah, no, no cracks yet. Um, it seems pretty good.